namaste. In today's class we'll be doing a sequence that includes the fountain of youth or the five Tibetan rites. So it'll be a great class to energize us and hopefully keep us young and healthy. Let's begin. Okay so we'll begin on our mats in a seated position. So just find a comfortable easy pose or half lotus and fold your legs and just come to settle on your mats. We'll start with just connecting with our breaths and settling in for our class. So just gently bring your hands into mudra and rest your hands onto your knees. And then you can start to connect with your natural breath and just check in with yourself. Finding stillness on your mat, feeling fully grounded. And while we're sitting on our mats, let's set an intention for today's class. An intention of youth and vitality and health. Now we're just going to work with some box breathing, just to really settle our minds and keep our minds focused in the present moment. So we'll begin by exhaling and then we'll inhale for the count of four, hold for four, exhale for four and hold for four. So let's just start by emptying our lungs with a deep exhalation. And now inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, inhale, hold, exhale, and hold. Let's do one more, inhale, hold, exhale, and hold. Now just come back to your natural breath and on your next inhalation let's inhale and reach those arms up and then exhale as you drop down to one side coming into a side stretch. Inhale to center and exhale across to the other side. Inhale to center and exhale for side stretch. Inhale, center, and exhale across to the other side. And now coming back to center, let's place our palms facing down on our knees. We're going to work into some gentle back rolls just to warm up our spines. So we're just going to slowly rotate, moving forward and back, exhaling as you come forward and inhaling to elongate your spine at the back. So just synchronize the movement with your breath, find your own rhythm, you can close your eyes and use it as a form of meditation, gently warming up our lower backs. And now let's change direction, breathing through it. Slowly working with your own rhythm, connecting to your breath. Easing into these spinal rolls. And let's come back to seated. Now we're going to inhale and raise our arms up. And then gently walk our hands forward, coming into a forward fold. So just stretching out that lower back and gently easing forward. And once you find your position, you can drop your head. So feel that extension in the spine, feel that extension in the glutes. And all the time you're trying to draw your tailbone down and really stretching through the torso and the side body. Let's slowly walk our way back, 
to our seated position. We're going to change the cross of our legs for balance. So find your comfortable position again. This time let's inhale and interlace the fingers above the head and then press those palms away from you. So really stretching into the side body, feeling that elongation in the spine. And now just gently encourage those arms to move backwards. So we're just trying to warm up our shoulders, drawing those shoulder blades in, gently easing those arms behind you. And now let's release and we'll just do some wrist rolls as we draw our hands down to our sides, warming up those wrists, rotating them gently. Now interlace the fingers behind your back and gently draw those arms up and away from you. So really trying to come into a gentle arch of the back, a gentle back bend, and drawing those shoulder blades in, opening up the heart center, opening up the chest. And don't forget to breathe. And now let's relax. Placing the hands back onto the knees, we're gonna work into a seated cat cow. So inhale as you arch the back and come forward and exhale to round. Inhale to come forward. Exhale as you go back and round. Inhale forward. And exhale back. And let's do one more. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Coming back to our seated position, we're going to work into one more forward extension on this side. So inhale and reach those arms up. And exhale as you fold the body forward, walking those hands out in front of you. Gently coming to settle, drawing the tailbone down and feeling the extension in the body. And don't forget to breathe. You can close your eyes. Really dropping into it, feeling that gentle restorative forward fold. And we'll slowly walk our way back up to a seated position. Placing the soles of the feet together, we're going to come into a Baddha Konasana, but create a diamond shape with your legs. So slightly wider and deeper than our normal bound angle or butterfly pose. And then elongate your back and gently drop down into a forward fold. You can place the hands into two fists and just come to rest the forehead onto your fists. Just easing into it. We're still warming up and getting our bodies <clears throat> prepared for our class. So no pressure, just gently drop down. back up, drawing the heels towards your groin as we come into our normal Baddha Konasana pose. Let's take the hands and wrap them around the toes as we draw our knees down towards the mat, elongate our spines, drawing the shoulder blades in and broadening through the chest. Just hold your Baddha Konasana pose, it's a nice active pose. You should have a stretch in the torso and then a counter stretch in the hips and the legs. So just gently try and drop those knees down a little bit closer to the mat with every breath. Breathe into those hips. To stay young, we want to really work our hip joints as well, keeping them lubricated, keeping them supple. And now let's just relax. We're going to flap our butterfly wings, adding to our hip mobility. One of my favorite hip openers. And now just extend your left leg out to the side. And we're going to gently move into some side stretches. But first, just twist your torso to face your bent knee. 
and slowly walk across that leg, dropping down just for a gentle forward fold. Walk your way back up and we're going to slide that left arm towards that left leg, flexing your foot as we move into a side stretch. So once you've found your position, rotate that shoulder backwards so that you've got a beautiful elongation in the side body. And then you can sweep your arm up and over. Just bring it to drop wherever it falls. Holding that side stretch. Gently easing into it. And now you can return your hand to the mat and let's lift up for a gentle back bend. And dropping down, we're going to repeat on the other side. So bringing your left knee in and opening up that right leg, flexing that right foot. Gently drop down over your bent knee coming into a very gentle forward fold so you can rest on your forearms trying to elongate that spine now we're going to walk our way back for a side stretch so dropping that elbow down elbow to meet knee rotating the rib cage up extending through the side body and once you've found your position you can gently inhale raising that arm up and over just allow it to fall wherever it lands. Trying to maintain that extension in the side body. So trying to draw that shoulder blade up and in. And now let's move into a gentle back bend, stargazer pose. So just stretching it out, feeling that release in the back. Gently dropping down and let's open up for Uka Vista Konasana, our wide-legged seated position. So just find a comfortable position, whatever stance suits your legs and suits your body today. And we're going to slowly just start to warm up. So in this pose your feet are flexed and your legs are gently inwardly rotated just to open up in the pelvis and the hip area to allow you to gently move forward so you can actually shift your buttocks flesh behind you so that you've got a comfortable seat that gives you that mobility back and forth and now we'll just rest our hands onto our hips and just start to rock gently forward and back just easing into it synchronize your breath with each movement again Exhale as you go down and inhale up. And now we're going to start to drop from side to side. So also breathing as you go through it. Dropping down as you exhale. Inhale to come up. So just find your own rhythm here. You can close your eyes. Use it as a form of meditation. Just gently warming up and loosening up for our class. Find your rhythm, ease into it, enjoy it. And as you drop down each time, just try and drop a little bit further and maybe stay a little bit longer on each side. So just easing into it, allowing the body to surrender and gently gain millimetre by millimetre on either side. Coming back to center, we're going to slowly walk our way forward into our, our first forward fold of the day. So this can be quite an intense forward fold, so just take it easy, walk through it slowly, work with your own body, and rest wherever it's comfortable for you. You're trying to really elongate that spine. So I have a really bad back, I've got to work on my back, in fact that's why I started yoga, because of my back problems. <laughs> So just be gentle with your body, be kind to your body, ease into it. And then slowly work your way down, breathing through it. So if you feel any pain anywhere, just breathe through it. If there's any tightness or stiffness, use your breath. That's what's so amazing about yoga is that we learn how powerful our prana is, our breath work is. 
and then just gently ease your way down and once you've found your comfortable position you can drop your head close your eyes and just breathe into it to spend a little bit of time in these deep yin poses because it really works into our fascia and the more time we spend in the pose the easier it becomes the more our body surrender so let's just stay here for a little bit longer slowly start to walk your way back up and count your body. Let's use our hands to support our knees as we draw those knees towards the midline but we're going to keep our feet slightly wider than hip distance apart as we come into our malasana, our garland pose. So let's just ease into it by rocking from side to side. Also remembering to warm up those feet so press into the toes and the balls of the feet and then press into the heels. Just enjoy this rocking motion. And now when you're ready, let's find a stationary position in our malasana, our garland pose. So drop those heels down. If you find it difficult to drop your heels down, you can stay on the balls of the feet and you can use your hands to support you. Alternatively, just come to settle with those heels down bringing the hands into heart center and use those elbows to open up your knees a little bit wider and then try and elongate that spine lifting up and drawing the tailbone down at the same time gently gazing ahead breathing through it also a great hip opener one of my favorite yogi poses something our ancestors used to do all the time and something that in our modern era we forget to do is to just sit in a squatted position. Okay, let's gently start to lift up the tailbone, so coming up into a forward fold and just take it easy, let's stretch and then bend down again. So just stretch and bend, easing into it, warming up those hamstrings And now we'll come to a stationary position, dropping down into Uttanasana, our forward fold. So heel toe those feet together so that they're parallel and hip distance apart. Your toes are slightly in and the outsides of the feet are parallel to your mat. And then just drop down and hang. Completely relaxing your body, relaxing your neck. Feeling this release. Beautiful restorative pose. Feel it in the hamstrings. If you need to keep a micro bend in your knees, that's absolutely fine. Now very slowly, let's start to roll our way up to a standing position. Just roll those shoulders back a few times. So warming up our shoulders. And now you can rotate them in the opposite direction. And then gently come to standing. We're going to start in Tadasana. We're going to work into our five uh, Tibetan rats now. So we're starting our Fountain of Youth. So come to standing on your mat in Tadasana Mountain Pose. So the toes are touching, the outsides of the feet are parallel. You're lifting up those kneecaps, you're activating your quads, you're zipping up the core, your shoulders are back, your shoulder blades are in broad chest and just come to standing and find that grounding position. Now we're going to bring the fingertips to touch and then just gently open up those arms to shoulder height. So in our first right we'll be spinning so rotating the body 21 times in one direction and then just to balance at the end you'll rotate three times in the opposite direction. 
but gently gazing across at your right hand, start to move slowly and count your rotations. So you want to do 21 rotations. And don't forget to breathe. Four. Just work in your own time. You'll feel it in the arms. If at any time you feel dizzy, then just stop and do three rotations in the opposite direction and just come to stand in Tadasana Mountain. And once you've finished your 21, just shift your gaze to the opposite hand and slowly take three circles in the opposite direction. And then come back to settle on your mat in Tadasana. You can bring the hands into prayer pose. And just gently close your eyes and feel that energy moving. This energizes all the chakras in our body, gives us that beautiful vital energy. And then you can just breathe deeply, coming back to stillness. And now let's slowly open our eyes. You can drop those hands down. We're going to drop down for our second right. So just come to sitting on your mat. The second right involves some abdominal work. So we're going to come down to the center of our mat. And then bring your feet out in front of you and slowly just lower down onto your back. So lowering down vertebra by vertebra. Come to settle on your back. And now find your position. I like to do this um, right with my hands underneath my sacrum. I need that support for my lower back. So you can bring your hands and gently rest them underneath your sacrum. And then we're going to inhale and raise those legs up together. So keeping the legs together and the feet flexed. And then as you exhale, you're going to drop down. And inhale to raise. And again, we work with this 21 times. So just breathe through it, counting through 21 repetitions in your own time. Exhaling as you go down and inhaling up. Halfway there. If you need to stop at any time, just gently come to settle. You can plant the soles of the feet onto the mat and then you can hug your knees into your chest. So just do what's good for you. And when you've completed your 21 repetitions, bring those knees into your chest. Let's hug our knees and rock gently from side to side. And now cross your ankles and let's rock our way back up to a seated position. We're gonna move into the third right which works with our camel pose, our ostrasana. 
So come onto your knees in the center of your mat and then just lift, lift up to a kneeling position. So there are two variations of this, but I like to do the one with the quad stretch, well, <laughs> the quad workout. So you'll feel it in the morning. So just bringing your knees so that they're parallel to your hips. You're resting on the fronts of the feet, pressing into the front of the feet for balance. Gently inhale and raise those arms up so that the arms are parallel to your mat. And then we're going to take 21 repetitions of just rocking the torso back. So keeping the torso in a straight line, really using those abdominals and using the quads. We're going to move 21 times. So exhale as you drop back and inhale to come back up to a standard position. Work in your own time, 21 repetitions. If at any time you need to take a break, just drop down into child's pose. and 21. Let's drop down into child's pose. Dropping your forehead down onto the mat, stretching those arms out in front of you. We'll move into extended child. And just gently come to rest and restore on your mats. Using this as a little recovery pose, just breathe into it, close your eyes. And now we slowly come back up to a seated position. So come to sitting on your mat, moving into our fourth round. So in this position, we're going to be working with the moving tabletop. So we work with our reverse tabletop position. So just find your position initially to make sure that you're in the right place and that your legs are the correct distance apart. So you're pressing into the palms of your hands, your fingers are facing forward and the hands are on either side of your body. Gently inhale and as you inhale, just lift up that torso into a reverse tabletop position. So squeezing the glutes and trying to keep the body completely parallel to the mat. You might need to just shift those feet forward slightly. So find that position. Now, in this pose, we move our body like a seesaw. So as we exhale, we drop down, shifting the glutes between the hands. And then inhale to come back up into your reverse tabletop. So just work through this movement 21 times, finding your own rhythm. Breathing through it. If you want to drop your head back when you come up, that's fine. Just do whatever feels good for you. I just find my neck doesn't feel supported enough when I drop back, so I like to gaze ahead of me but just work with your own body.
And when you've completed your 21, just drop down into Dandasana Staff Pose. Breathe through it. Feeling those nice, deep inhalations and exhalations. You can draw up your torso, flex the feet, and just gently gaze ahead. Using the hands to support your body on either side. Now let's slowly drop down into Paschimottanasana, just easing forward into a gentle forward fold. Work with your own body, trying to maintain that elongation in the spine, one of my greatest challenges. <laughs> so drop down, and when you've found your comfortable position, you can lower your head, just allowing the body to completely restore. Let's slowly work our way back up to a seated position. We're going to move into the last of our five rats. So coming back into tabletop position, this time in our normal tabletop. So palms are on the mat, fingers are facing forward. Your wrists and your shoulders are stacked and your knees are stacked beneath your hips. And now let's gently move into some cat cows just to ease up that spine. So inhale to arch and gently gaze ahead. And exhale as you round for cat. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Inhale cow. And exhale cat. And let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now coming back to a neutral spine. Zip up your core, tuck those toes under, and let's lift up for our downward facing dog. So we'll walk our dog just to warm up our hamstrings. This is our first dog of the day. So just take it easy, ease into it. Circling into your mat, finding your position. Now our fifth right involves working from a downward facing dog into an upward facing dog. So it's a dynamic fluid movement. So I like to work with this pose, keeping my feet on my toes. So I work on the balls of my feet and that enables me just to swing with ease from downward dog into upward facing dog. So come onto the balls of your feet, lift up that tailbone, really extending into your downward facing dog. And then gently gazing ahead of you Let's prepare for our upward facing dog. So breathe through it. Exhale as you come forward into upward facing dog and inhale back into downward dog. Exhale forward and inhale back. And we're going to do 21. So just work through it in your own time, counting your way through each movement. Breathing through it. Halfway there.
And once you've completed your 21, come back into your downward dog. Drop those heels down, drop the head down, and just completely relax in your downward facing dog. And now let's drop those knees to the mat. You can widen those knees so that they're mat distance apart, bringing the soles of the feet together. Let's move into an extended child with our legs wide open so that our torsos can drop down. And just gently lower your head to the mat and breathe. Let's slowly come back up into tabletop position, bringing the knees back together so that they're parallel, hip distance apart. We're going to tuck those toes and then lift up for downward facing dog. Just going to gently end our sequence with some beautiful yin poses, some hip hop openers. So a beautiful way just to close the class. So inhale and reach that right leg up for three-legged dog really stretching into it, enjoying the extension. And now exhale as you bend the knee, bringing knee in towards your chest and just hold here. Nice strong arm balance. And then inhale to reach that leg up again. And this time as you bend your knee, drop that leg down onto the mat as we lower our way down into pigeon pose. Just find a comfortable position here, sinking into those hips, aligning the hips. You want to feel completely balanced in this pose between the left and right side of the body. So easing into it. And once you've found your position, we're going to slowly just walk our hands forward and then come to rest our foreheads onto our hands. So just finding your yin pose here. You can close your eyes and breathe through it. Feeling it in the hips, feeling it in the glutes. Gently just sinking down with each breath. Extend that leg behind you to try and really gain every benefit from this pose. What we put into our yoga, we get out of our yoga. So try and be mindful in each pose just to ease your way a little bit further into each stretch. And again, coming back to your breathing, closing your eyes, and just enjoying this restorative pose. slowly start to come out of our pigeon pose so walking those hands back up towards the torso tucking the toes under on your back leg sweep that front leg out to the side just for a gentle stretch allowing the blood to flow back so just hold it here for a few breaths now we're going to return that leg up for three-legged dog and drop it back down into our downward dog so just hold your dog for a moment Take a deep breath here, remembering to draw that chest towards the thighs. So easing into it, feeling that beautiful stretch all the way from the fingertips right through the body down to the heels. And now let's sweep our left leg up, pointing that leg, pointing that foot, finding that extension. And then bend the knee as you exhale, bringing it in towards the chest and hold. Inhale as you straighten and point, three-legged dog. Exhale to bend and drop that knee down as we come into pigeon on the other side. So again, use this time just to find your pose. Settle into it, aligning the hips. Stretching that back leg out a little bit further. And once you've found your position, let's slowly drop down. 
Coming to rest our forehead onto our hands. Closing your eyes and breathing through it. Using this time to restore and replenish. The fountain of youth is quite a dynamic sequence. So it's nice just to balance our practice with some yin poses. Let's slowly start to work our way back up to a seated position. Tucking the toes under on the back foot, extending that front foot out to the side, feeling the blood return, holding a chair in your arm balance. And now bending that knee, sweeping it back up for three legged dog, dropping back down for downward facing dog, and really extending into the stretch, feeling it throughout the body. Holding your downward dog, breathing into it, completely restoring that body. And now let's drop down into child's pose. And this time we'll do a normal child's pose so the knees are together. And just drop the hands down on either side of your body, palms facing up. And hold and breathe. In a little ball, a very grounding position. Now let's slowly work our way back up to a seated position. Come to the center of your mats. Swing those legs out in front of you. And slowly start to lower the body down. So we're coming to rest on our backs into our supine poses. So find a comfortable position, drop down. Your back is completely supported by your mats. Your hands are on either side of your body, so pressing into those palms, palms facing down. Let's move into bridge pose, bringing the soles of the feet towards the glutes. So you want to be able to actually touch the back of the heels with the tops of your fingers. So just find that position. Your feet are hip distance apart. Your feet are directly beneath your knees. And now let's take a deep inhalation and as we exhale we're going to lift up the pelvis coming into bridge pose and we're going to come onto the shoulders so really using those shoulders to support you in this pose and then interlace the fingers and draw those hands down towards your feet as you lift up a little bit further squeezing those glutes and at the same time encouraging the knees to stay parallel so drawing those knees in, squeezing the glutes, arching the back and extending through the hands and the arms. So it's a very active pose. Preparation for our wheel and our full back bend. Breathing through it, just gazing up ahead of you at the sky. Let's hold for one more breath. In and out. And now let's gently return the body to the mat, dropping down vertebra by vertebra. Drawing those knees into the chest and hugging those knees, rocking from side to side. And now plant the left foot onto the mat, hug that right knee into your chest, really drawing it into the chest. And now draw it onto the outside of the rib cage. So drawing the knee towards your shoulder. Take hold of the ball of the foot and open up for a half happy baby. So you're drawing the thigh down towards the mat. The knee is bent and the sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. And while you're in this pose, just encourage your left hip to stay planted. So place your left hand onto that hip bone and just encourage it to stay stable and stationary. And just hold and breathe a beautiful restorative pose. Very relaxing, a nice gentle hip opener. Now if you want an extra challenge, let's straighten that leg, extending it out to the side, bringing it down to the earth. Just hold that pose, hold that extension. 
Otherwise, you can stay in your half happy baby pose, whatever works for you. And we're going to lift that leg up, keeping that leg straight. Let's draw the thigh towards the knee. So just gently encouraging that hamstring to stretch and loosen up a little bit further. And now you can plant that right foot onto the mat as we raise and hug our left knee. Drawing it into the chest, hugging that knee to the chest. And now opening up to the side. So drawing it on the outside of the rib cage, bringing the knee in towards the shoulder. Let's open up into a half happy baby pose. So bringing that thigh down onto the mat, bending the knee, the sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. And remembering just to be mindful of your right hip. So hold on to that hip with your right hand, encouraging it to stay on the mat. Now you can either stay here, just breathing through it, or if you want that extra challenge, let's straighten our legs and draw them down onto the mat. Breathing through it, dropping down a little bit further with each breath. And bring your leg back up, nice straight leg, drawing that thigh towards your chest, stretching those hamstrings, and then dropping back down, both of the soles of the feet are together. Let's sweep our arms between our thighs, take hold of the balls of both feet, and open up into a happy baby. One more hip opener. You can rock gently from side to side, just easing that back, allowing the hips to open up, and then come to settle in a stationary position, drawing that coccyx down, so encouraging the spine to stay completely flat and elongated on the mat, holding on to those feet, and just breathing through it, close your eyes, and enjoy this pose. A blissful, happy baby pose. And now let's gently bring the soles of the feet together, drop those feet down onto the mat, and let's ease into our Shavasana, our final relaxation. So allowing the feet just to drop out to the sides, got an external rotation of the legs, the hands are by your side, you're resting on the middle knuckles and the palms are facing the ceiling. You can allow those fingers to curl a little bit if that's what's comfortable for you. Release any trapped flesh. So wriggle your way into a very comfortable position. Close your eyes. You can tuck the chin in slightly to elongate the neck. You can draw those shoulder blades in slightly just to open up the heart center to open up your chest and your lungs to allow easy, relaxed flow of breath in and out as you inhale and exhale and connect to your breath. Completely relaxing the body, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the brow, releasing any trapped flesh. Using this time just to reconnect with your breath to reconnect with the present moment. To align your mind with our intention today for health, vitality and youth. So let's embrace those things and be grateful for this time that we've shared on our mats. Time to connect with our mind, body and soul. slowly drift back to your mat and wrap your thumb and your fingertips together rotate the wrists and the ankles bring the legs together and point your toes inhale and sweep those arms up and over as you give yourself a full body stretch 
and then exhale, bringing the hands in, bringing the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side, and then gently rocking over onto one side in a fetal position. Very slowly in your own time. Let's come back up to seated, finding a comfortable, easy pose. Settle into your mat one last time. Let's inhale and extend those arms up, bringing the palms to touch, and then gently lowering down into Namaskar, our heart center, our prayer position. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.